Salatul Eid can be performed anytime from sunrise towards midday. We need to be in wudu and it can be performed either by ourselves or in congregation, jama'ah, which is highly recommended. There is no adhan or iqamah for Salatul Eid, just the utterance of as salah as salah as salah before we pray it. How do we perform Salatul Eid? Well, there are two main ways. One, quite quick, easy and straightforward, and the other, a bit longer, but highly rewarding. Salatul Eid is simply two rakats. In the first rak'ah, when we say Allahu Akbar, we recite Surah Al-Fatiha. Then we recite any complete chapter of the Holy Quran. Then we recite Allahu Akbar. And we raise our hands in Qunut and say anything in Qunut, such as Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad. Then Allahu Akbar. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad. Allahu Akbar. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad. Allahu Akbar. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad. Allahu Akbar. Then we go down into Ruku'ah. So the first Ruku'ah has five takbirat with a simple dua in between. Once we complete the Ruku'ah and the Sujood, we rise. And then we recite Surah Al-Fatiha, followed by another chapter of the Qur'an. Once we finish the recitation of the chapter of the Qur'an, then we say Allahu Akbar. Raise our hands. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad. Allahu Akbar. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad. Allahu Akbar. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad. Allahu Akbar. Then we go down into Ruku'ah. So in the second Ruku'ah, there are four takbirat and three qunuts. Once we complete this, we recite the Ruku'ah, then we recite the Sujood, and the Salah would be completed with the Tashahud and the Taslim. If we're reciting this in congregation, then out of obligatory precaution, based on the rulings of His Eminence Ayatollah Al-Uthman Sayyid Sistani, Hafidahullah, we should then have two small khutbas, can be recited in any language that can be understood by the family, whereby we recite, for example, certain verses of the Qur'an or hadith from the Holy Prophet and his Ahl al-Bayt, peace and blessings be upon them. Now the second way of the recitation of Salatul Eid is more conventional and how you and I perhaps are used to saying at the mosque. So it is two rakats, still with the same, five takbirat in the first rak'ah and four takbirat in the second rak'ah. But this is how it's done. Takbiratul Ihram, Surah Al-Fatiha, followed by Surah Al-A'la, chapter 87 of the Holy Quran, which starts with Sabbih Ismi Rabbika Al-A'la. Upon completion, we recite Allahu Akbar, the first takbirat. Then we raise our hands and recite the following dua. Allahumma ahla al-kibriya wal azama wa ahla al-jood wal jabarut wa ahla al-'afw wal rahma wa ahla at-taqwa wal maghfira as'aluka bi haqq hadha al-yawm alladhi ja'altahu lil muslimin 'ida wa li Muhammadin sallallahu 'alayhi wa alihi dhukhran wa sharafan wa karamatan wa mazida أن تصلي على محمد وآل محمد وأن تدخلني في كل خير أدخلت فيه محمد وآل محمد وأن تخرجني من كل سوء أخرجت منه محمد وآل محمد صلواتك عليه وعليهم اللهم إني أسألك خير ما سألك عبادك الصالحون وأعوذ بك مما استعاذ منه عبادك المخلصون الله أكبر then we recite the same dua الله أكبر then we recite the same dua الله أكبر then we recite the same dua الله أكبر then we go down into ruku' so there are five takbirs and four duas we go down into ruku' 
and then to sujood, then we stand up. Upon rising for the second ruk'ah, we recite Surah Al-Fatiha. After the completion of Surah Al-Fatiha, we recite Surah Al-Shams, chapter 91 of the Holy Quran. Then we recite Allahu Akbar, the dua, Allahumma ahl al kibriya'i wal azama. Then Allahu Akbar, the dua again. Then Allahu Akbar, the dua for the third time. Then Allahu Akbar, then we go into ruku'ah. So there are four takbirat, and between them there are three qunuts. When we go down into ruku', then we stand, and we go down into sujood, and then we complete the salah. Now, it is recommended to recite this dua and these chapters of the Qur'an. Hence, you can either hold, for example, a piece of paper, or the Qur'an itself, or something that will remind you of the dua, as well as the chapters that we recite. Upon completion of this prayer, as mentioned before, one should stand and recite a few words in their own language understood by the people, sit down, stand up again, and these constitute two khutbas. <laughs> Now, those who recite behind the Imam should also be reciting the adhkar of the qunut and the takbirat as well. So, to recap, Salatul Eid can be recited either by oneself or in congregation. If it's to be recited in congregation, then after its completion, two khutbas should be recited, which can be quite short. If it is to be recited in a shorter, quicker manner, then any surah can be recited. In the first ruk'ah, we have five takbirat and four qunuts. And in the second ruk'ah, we have four takbirat and three qunuts. The second method, which is slightly longer and more rewarding, is the ruk'atain after Surah Al-Fatiha. We recite Surah Al-A'la, chapter 87 of the Holy Quran. Then five takbirat, and in between these takbirat, we recite the dua, Allahumma ahla al kibriya'i wal azama, which you will find also in the description of the video. In the second ruk'ah, after Surah Al Fatiha, we recite Surah Al Shams, which is chapter 91. Then there are four takbirat, and in between three times we recite this dua, then we complete the salah. <laughs> Please note, what we just described was based on the opinion of His Eminence Ayatollah Al-Uzma Sayyid Sistani Hafizahullah. Some other maraja stipulate that when it comes to Salatul Eid, despite the, an agreement that in the first ruk'ah there are five takbirat and in the second there are four, the disagreement is in terms of how many times we recite the qunut. Whereas some, such as Ayatollah Al-Khu'i, Rahmatullah Ta'ala Alayhi, says that in the first ruk'ah there are five qunuts and in the second ruk'ah there are four. His eminence Ayatollah Sistani says in the first ruk'ah there are four qunuts and in the second there are three. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you all, accept your deeds and grant us tawfiq and the opportunity to perform Salatul Eid in our houses. If you do have any questions, please do email us and we'll be more than happy to help.